This is Sega Extreme Sports on the Dreamcast. I used to play a demo of this back in the day, back in about 2000, and I thought it was quite fun. Um, so I actually bought this game recently, and uh, when I first started playing it, it felt like it hadn't really aged that well. It just kind of felt a bit boring to play, um, a bit generic, but the, the more I played it, the more it grew on me, and now I think it's quite a fun game. Um, it basically consists of several different extreme sports each race consists of several different extreme sports so you know like one minute you'll be riding a mountain bike and then the next minute you're getting off your mountain bike and you're running over towards a hang glider or an ATV or whatever so I'm not sure if there's that many other games on the other systems which are like this but The game came out in 2000, and it is quite a challenge, it is quite a challenging game. There's a desk. And there's the manual. So yeah, you've got like a championship, single track, time trial, practice, bonus tracks. And there's a couple of tracks that you could download from the internet as well, but I doubt you'll be able to download them now. And you can do tricks and stuff. You know, whether whether you're you're on your mountain bike or bungee jumping or sky surfing or whatever and each time you do a trick it will give you um, it will fill up your boost meter so you've got like four different characters in the game you've got Nina Rager or Rager or whatever Noel and, uh, and Kath so yeah let's take a look at Sega Extreme Sports on the Dreamcast The main way to play through Sega Extreme Sports is a championship. Each time you win a championship you will unlock the next championship with a higher difficulty level. Each race consists of several different extreme sports and once you've finished with a piece of equipment you run to the next. The extreme sports in this game are ATV, mountain biking, bungee jumping, sky surfing, speed gliding and snowboarding. The amount of characters you can choose from is really small, just two girls and two guys. Not that I think that's a problem or anything. On any of the equipment you can do tricks. There's three different tricks for each piece of equipment and each trick consists of a simple two or three button combination on the D-pad followed by pressing the trick button, which is the Y button. Each time you do a trick successfully you'll be awarded some added boost to your boost meter, however I don't always think it's worth it as on certain pieces of equipment doing a trick will actually slow you down. You can also punch the other competitors, road rash style, to slow them down. The gameplay is quite fun, the graphics aren't that great, in fact, while you are making your way through a race, for some reason the textures warp which just looks really weird. The music, well, personally it's not my kind of thing, it's just late night style stuff. There's also an option to play on bonus tracks, these are unlocked by collecting tokens in the championship, single track or time trial modes. When playing on a bonus track you'll only be on one piece of equipment for the whole event and instead of racing against others the objective is to pass a number of checkpoints. Apart from the texture warping the only other complaint that I have about the game is that in 50HZ or PAL there isn't really a sensation of speed at all. This can be fixed however by just choosing 60HZ on the menu before the game is loaded but obviously then the picture quality will suffer quite a bit. Move it. 
So yeah, it's quite a good game, but nothing special. So, that's Sega Extreme Sports on the Dreamcast. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.